Good morning, this is Julia Whittup with Creative Journey and our guest speaker today is Wendy Turner, a medical psychic and she's also an expert in past lives and how past lives affect your current life and so thank you for being with us, Wendy. Thank you, Julia. Well, as Julia said, I'm Wendy and I'm a psychic. And uh, let's give you a little background about me. I was born remembering my past lives. Um, and it's such a dramatic statement, but there's a reason why we don't remember our past lives. We have traumatic births and we have traumatic deaths and sometimes we have traumatic lives. And, you know, we don't necessarily want to remember all that. Sometimes uh, if you remember all your past lives at once, you get confused about which life you're in and uh, it's just um, it's very hard to disconnect from those and just live and be here now as you are where you are. So, you know, but eventually I, I got through that and I managed to, to understand what was going on and why I had all of these memories of other times and places. So the reason that I tell you that is because it helps me to help others now at this point in my life to um, find their way. And there are many, many ways to be lost. Um, you know, you can be emotionally bereft. You can have some mental problems. You can have physical problems, spiritual problems. There are many, many ways that um, being lost can manifest. Uh, one way that it can manifest is that past lives can come and bleed through to this lifetime and they can affect you physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. Um, so let me give you a few examples. The reason that I focus on past lives um, for some people who need it uh, is because if those are bleeding through to this lifetime, that doesn't serve you. What you want is to live this lifetime here now, not live that lifetime. That lifetime's already been lived. It's done. You don't need to deal with the effects of it um, at all. <clears throat> and first, let me just say that the reason that we live multiple lives is because we want to have, we want to grow. We want to have evolutionary leaps. Uh, we want to be able to improve as a being. And for the record, it's been said before, and I, I just want to say it here, you're, you're not a human having a, a spiritual experience. You're a spiritual being that happens to be in a human body. When you look at it from that perspective, it's much easier to heal the body of things that you wouldn't think were curable. Um, and no, I don't sell snake oil. It's just a matter of your body, your being, your mind, your spirit wants things a certain way. And when you help facilitate that, everything flows. So let's talk about a few examples as to how past lives can affect this life. Um, let's start with abrupt change. Um, sometimes there's abrupt change in a life. Everything's cranking along, you're having your life, everything's fine, and all of a sudden you hit maybe 38 years old and you're afraid, you're scared of heights. Um, and they just really, really bother you. It's a phobia at this point. And it came out of nowhere. The chances are good that in a previous life, one or probably more than one time, you fell to your death in that age bracket. And the soul becomes patterned. You do things a couple times and the soul goes, okay, we're going to get ready for the third time, right? This is coming. And it isn't necessarily coming, but your uh, soul has this pattern going and it assumes that that's what's going to happen. And you have to explain to it that this is a different life and disconnect those lives from this lifetime so they don't bleed through so that you can get rid of the phobia. That's one example. Um, another example is um, there are people who were sold into slavery over debt at one or more points in previous lives. And in this lifetime, they're not having it. They, they refuse to go into debt. These are people who don't get credit cards until they're in their late forties. Um, they just, are not going to have it. Um, they probably refuse to have physical uh, possessions very much. You know, we've all met people who like to live the Spartan lifestyle. Nothing wrong with it. We're talking here rather extreme Spartan lifestyle where, you know, having a bed for them is a luxury in this country anyway. 
Okay, then there are other past lives, things that we do that are a problem in this lifetime on uh, other levels. Um, let's see. You know what, let me just tell you one more physical example, just so you, you can see the range. I had a woman come to me, she had a problem with her right foot. Uh, she was fine, everything was fine. One day in her early 30s, she, it started hurting, and then she couldn't walk on it for three years. Doctors couldn't find anything wrong, neurologists couldn't find anything wrong, chiropractors, nobody could figure it out. And I looked at it, and we did a past life reading, and we, real, we found that she'd had four lifetimes. In her early 30s, she had lost her foot in all four lifetimes. So again, the soul had a pattern. Oh, well, it's time to start, you know, cutting off circulation of that foot and saving the rest of the body and so on and so forth. And when we disconnected that, had those past lives and, you know, spoke with the soul and said, you know, this is a fresh lifetime. We, we need to cut these ties. Then what happens is, is the foot bounces right back and she has had no problems with it since none. So that's really exciting. Um, Okay, I lost my train of thought. All right, here we are. And so some other things, some other ways that past lives can affect you. Um, there are times in our lives when we have had, you know, some problems. We've um, maybe been unbalanced. Maybe we were in battle, what have you, and we killed another being. Okay, I mean, it, it does happen. That's, we have war all the time. We have things happen all the time. There's a karmic debt at that point. Um, and the two souls after death come together and talk about how the karmic debt can be fulfilled, how it can be evened out, the scales balanced. Sometimes you'll get an illness because, and I have heard of this on more than one occasion, you'll get an illness simply because that doctor is someone you owe a karmic debt to and literally going in for surgery, the surgeon himself, once he cuts you, like it's, it, there's an energetic shift and the karmic debt is balanced. The scales are balanced. That's just one example of many, many, many. Um, so we have debts to others. Perhaps someone has been very, very good to us and we love them very much. And we meet them in this lifetime and they look different and we, we don't know them otherwise, other than, you know, because we don't remember these lives. And we think, well, I just love that person. I don't even know why, but I just love that person. That's what happens when you have love between two individuals of any kind. Friendship, grandmother, cousin, best friend, wife, husband, whatever. Friend, any kind of, you know, co-worker, uh, um, army mates, whatever it is. When you have real love, a true loving emotional connection, it will bleed through from lifetime to lifetime. And we're okay with that. That's what serves. That's what makes the world goes round, go round. We like that. It's when we've had negative connections with others that it becomes a problem in the next lifetime and the next and the next and the next if we don't clear it up. So, or if we don't cut the ties at least and then treat others with respect regardless of our, um, our karmic reactions. So, um, so this is very exciting. Because in an hour, you can clean up, what, 100 years worth of junk or 200 years worth of junk? I mean, how exciting is that? Um, so that's, that's why I love doing past life work. And a lot of people come to me when the doctors just can't figure it out or they don't want to see a doctor or they just, you know, they just have a good feeling about it and they come. And we find out the bottom line, what's really going on. Is this a physical thing? Is this just an etheric thing? Is this a spiritual thing, an emotional thing? You know, what is it? Mental, what do we need to do to clean it? And when I work with a person, I ask their body and their soul to tell me what it truly needs for healing. And then we just do whatever it needs. So that's kind of exciting. I, I like to do that work. I, I like to see people freer and happy so hmm do you think that is it ever a past life affecting you because you're being pushed by your 
spirit guides to do a certain type of work? Would that be? Oh, yeah. So the soul has contracts. All right. So when you come to this planet, you make a contract one or more with the planet on what you're going to do through each lifetime. Then you also make a contract with yourself and with other beings around you. So, for example, um, let, let, you're looking at me, so let's use me as an example. My contract with this planet is for change, is to help facilitate change. And a lot of people say that they feel a lot of change after they've met me, even if we just chat and have coffee. It's, it's um, unusual how much change seems to occur to people after they've just spent a little time with me. And I'm not trying to consciously push. This is, there's nothing conscious about it. It's simply... I'm just being me, a being hopefully full of love, talking to another being. That's all it is. Um, so I, have, oh, I have noticed a lot of change in my life since I had that session with you. All positive. Uh, oh, good. Well, positive is the best. <laughs> yeah. And it just it keeps going. The more time you spend with me, the more change you see. It just keeps going and going and going. And... Um, uh, it's kind of, I feel like I'm sort of the, the, that machine that blows the leaves around and I blow all the cobwebs right off. <laughs> um, and sometimes that's good and not everybody wants that. Not everybody wants to have some good change in their life. They don't want to see things a little more clearly. Not everybody does, but it's, you know, it is what it is. They'll like it or they won't. And hopefully if that's what they want, they'll get it. Wow. Did I answer that question properly? Yes. Yeah, it, it wasn't really a question. I was just giving some other feedback okay. that I noticed a huge amount of change in my life after our session. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and there'll be more. The more time, if I see you again, you'll have more. This is how it works. And it usually is all for the better. Um, you know, unless you're an extremely, say you're in an extremely toxic relationship and it's not salvageable, then that'll spread, you'll split from the relationship and, you know, but if it's salvageable and there can be love, then love conquers all and everything comes together that way. So that's how it works. Right. So, okay. So to get back to my, uh, what I was saying though, before I kind of went on that tangent <laughs> is that there are contracts that we have with each other for each lifetime with the planet, with our, our um, tribe of spiritual beings that we belong to, you know, everybody's got their own tribe and we have contracts everywhere and we're constantly changing them. I mean, nothing, we are free will beings here. We want to change it. We can change it. It's all whatever you want. Just create your own universe here. And that's what's exciting about everything. That's what facilitates that change. Um, but I'm very good at telling people, here's what you're, your contracts are, here's where you're at, here's what you chose to do, do you still want to do that, What and if not, what do you want to do? And help them to get the clarity so that they can go forward and have a plan and work their plan. Great. And is there any, can, do you do any of this by phone or long distance? I do do long distance work. I need a picture of the person. I haven't gotten to the point where I can do it without a face but I do do long distance work. Now for simple psychic readings, you know, talk to your grandma who's passed or, you know, tell you what's wrong with your dog or, at, you know, let you know when you're going to get that raise. I don't need a picture, but if I'm doing a medical intuitive session or a past life, uh, you know, karmic connecting session, then it's better to have a picture. Okay. Okay. And how would someone contact you to get to have a session? Well, we have multiple options. You can call me. Should I put that number here? Yeah, go ahead. 970-309-1061. That's 970-309-1061. And that's my cell phone. And that thing is on 24-7. It just it goes like a rocket. <laughs> And then uh, I also, um, I've been in the process of building a website, but I do have a temporary email uh, that is Wendy Turners, so W-E-N-D-Y-T-U-R-N-E-R-S, psychic, 
readings, P-S-Y-C-H-I-C-R-E-A-D-I-N-G-S at comcast.net. And my website is going to be Beloved Soul, S-O-U-L, Healer, but we're building it and it's not quite there yet. Okay, great. Um, do you have anything else that you need to tell us? You know, the bottom line on this planet for everything, everyone, everywhere is just love. If you have given some genuine love to another human being today, you've had a good day. No matter, no matter what else has happened, just know that in past lives, future lives, here now, the bottom line is love. And uh, I, I really want to share that message because we all can lose sight of that. I mean, we all have this thing where just simplify, just simplify, just simplify. I'm in that phase where I want to simplify. But the bottom line is do it in love and joy or not at all. Wow. Okay. Well, thank you, Wendy, for being with us today. Thank you, Julia. And I hope you'll join Creative Journey so we can interact with you on that website as well. Okay, I'll, I'll uh, 